Okay, let's take a look at Mozo's uh, self-healing inventory feature we have built in. So this is while you are picking inventory for an order, for a sales order, for a work order, um, while you're already there, rather than having to have a separate person go out and cycle count and everything, which is, is not a bad idea either, but this helps you eliminate the need for the frequency of having to do that too much because we can have them count the inventory while they're actually already at the location. So it saves a lot of walking time, it saves a, a separate step. Uh, so while picking for a sales or a work order, if that location is less than a certain number of units, we can prompt them to count and confirm what's there. So again, we don't want them doing this. If there's a thousand volts there, we don't want them wasting the time to count out a thousand volts. Uh, so there's a setting for this uh, in our settings called cycle count, uh, low threshold for uh, cycle counting. And uh, we currently have that set to 10. That could be updated to whatever you'd like. Eventually, we're going to put this in the item itself, so each item can have its own level as an override if, if desired, but for now, it's, it's a global setting. And so what happens if, if Mozo thinks there's less than that number, less than 10 units in this case, in that location after you pick from it, it's going to say, hey, while you're here, let's count and verify that to make sure that's correct. So let's see that in action here. We are going to uh, pick this plate. Pick 10.5 units of it now because Mozo thinks there's 0.5 in this case. That's why it, it drove it to come to this screen. And it's basically the cycle count screen. So it's asking for what the actual is. We, oh, there's actually a little more in there than we thought. There's uh, there's one whole unit there. Uh, you can change your reason code if it's damaged. And these reason codes can be configured as well in your settings. You can put any comments that will show up in here. Um, and then you can so you update that inventory and then we take you right back to the picking screen where you're at so whether you're picking for a work order or a sales order uh, you're ready to go and keep uh, continue on with your job so we hope you like that we uh, we found this really helps in helping maintain your inventory accuracy uh, with very little additional labor expenses as part of it